Hi, everybody. Welcome to the first October edition of the Blitz. And what a blitz this is going to be. I'm Chris Berman along with Tom Jackson. And let's see, Tom. Uh, the Buffalo Bills were 3-0, and and they came back from 21 down to win a week ago and 18 down the week before. The Detroit Lions, it's all right. I'll see that five and raise you five. Uh, we were down by 20 a week ago and won, and now we're going to try something different. How about 24? No, right? That's not going to work. Really? Here we go at Big D, where the Cowboys certainly had their way, thinking they were going to knock the Lions off their unbeaten perch. Tony Romo playing very well with the protective vest underneath the jersey because of the rib injury. And Romo and the Cowboys said, we're going to go up top. We can make all the throws. They weren't lying. Great, Des Bryant, 25 years. grab by Des Bryant, catching the ball at its highest point. Boom. And Romo says, you know, this thing with Des Bryant is pretty good. There it is again. 14-0 Dallas came out very, very strong and smart. The Cowboys now in the third quarter lead 20-3. When Romo finds Jason Witten, 27 to 3, the route is on, the game is over, and Chris Houston is saying, we're in Dallas, but my name is Houston. I'm confused, I'm frustrated. <laughs> Tony Romo says, well, let's keep firing. But one time teammate is good friend Bobby Carpenter. If I were a carpenter, you were a lady. Look at Carpenter, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling, and he's in, it's a fumble, but no, they reviewed it. He was over the line. The Lions got it anyway, but no problem. It's still 27-10. Let's throw it some more. Chris Houston, not that frustrated. Houston knows he's in Dallas. And while he's in Dallas, he could go all the way. 56 yards, two pick sixes, but it's all right. They're still up by 10, 27-17. Romo, Des Bryant, complete for 34 yards, but... Lions coach Jim Schwartz says, I don't know about that. Let's challenge. Yeah, great grab by Des Bryant. Both feet have to be down, but he bobbles the ball the first time. By the time he gets control, he's knocked out of bounds, doesn't get a chance to get his feet in. Call reversed. He and Lewis Delmas exchange pleasantries. Jim Schwartz says, hey, how about that? It's incomplete. Later in the drive, third and three. Romo is hit as he throws, but wait a minute. There's a flag, and it's... A man named Sue. Well, and Dominican Sue comes in. You see the shot right there. And maybe the official's a little overly protected. Well, we're almost says thank you. And now we're still firing. Chase and Witten, that's nice. 37 yards leads to a field goal. And how does Sue feel about the flag that enabled the Cowboys to get three points? The snap, the spot, the boot up. Good. He's a good kicker, you know. He can do it. At any rate, now... Matthew Stafford says we got to get going. We're down 30 to 17. Calvin Johnson between three Dallas defenders. He simply fights his way for the ball. Yeah, triple coverage, throws the hand up, lets his quarterback know I am open. Get it to me. 23 outer makes it 30 to 24. Now Stafford to tight end Brandon Pettigrew puts his head down inside the 15, inside the 10. But there's a flag and Stafford knows, uh oh, it's on us. Let's take another look at the penalty. Yeah, Nate Burleson right there. Hits Terrence Newman in the back. Obvious shot in the back. Penalty. Now, we talked about him on countdown. Took me all game to be right. <laughs> but the linebacker, Stephen Tulloch. <laughs> now they stand up tall with a pick. Three interceptions, second half. This one didn't go for a touchdown. But Matthew Stafford says, give me the ball. Calvin Johnson, nine yards. Later in the drive, Stafford grew up in the Dallas area. Give me the ball to Johnson, 15 yards. Third and goal, under two minutes to go. Stafford for Pettigrew, incomplete with a flag on Frank Walker. French set him down, Detroit. Are you kidding me? They're actually gonna come from all the way back? You betcha. Fade, Johnson, touchdown, 34-30. Lions? Hmm. The Lions have come from all the way back, but it's not over. Romo, back to pass. The pass rush, Willie Young, is forever young. And you know what? Who would have ever guessed that you'd see a Lions coach, Jim Schwartz, doing this every week? And away we go! <laughs> I love it. Schwartz. Lions undefeated. Romo can't believe what happened. Biggest lead blown in franchise history, Cowboys. Ties, biggest comeback ever, franchise history, Lions. They did it in 1957, down by 24. Oh, by the way, that was the last time they won the NFL championship. Matthew Stafford coming home. What a homecoming.
every game in the NFL is tough, um, but you know I, I can't say that you know being four and zero would have uh, you know it, it doesn't get you can't get any better than that for the first four games. We won four games. We haven't played pretty um, in a lot of them, but we we got it done. Especially to come out here on this big stage, you know, and do what we did. Especially I guess after the comments they made, you know. Um, go out here and beat them the way we did. You know that was that was big for us. You know to start off four and zero. You know to come out clean in this first quarter of the season. You know that was, that was huge. When I look at it, it's going to be very tough just to watch the tape, knowing we had the the lead we had and you know the ending. It sucks right now. And today's and over the next week or two is going to be difficult when you look back at it. But at some point here, we're going to move on and we're going to learn that you know there's a lot of guys doing a lot of good things in this room, and I'm proud of a lot of people and. Um, We'll evaluate it and get better from it. Well, uh, obviously, two ways to look at this. When you're down 27-3, to three, and Matthew Stafford, by the way, uh, at Highland Park High School, that was the same high school that Bobby Lane and Doak Walker, great players on those 50s mm -hmm. championship Lions teams. Maybe there is something to it. I don't know. You're down 27-3, to three and they don't give up hope. I mean, this is two weeks in a row, Tom. Well, uh, boom, this team has great character, and I want to point out a certain group because when you get down like that and you have to throw the football, I go right to the offensive line. And Dominic Rayola and Jeff Backus, guys who went 0-16 with the Detroit Lions in 08, they seem to have a special, special type of character when it comes to being behind and being able to let their team come back, allowing Matthew Stafford to throw the football. The Dallas Cowboys season is reflected by Tony Romo's play. When he has played well, when he has played the courageous football he played like a week ago Monday night, when he had the cracked ribs and the lung, uh, punctured lung, uh, they win. When he plays like he played today and he gives away games, nothing could be more frustrating. Uh, they have to be more consistent, and his play has to be more consistent. Well, and, and for the, I mean, the Cowboys, it's a head scratcher as they fall to two and two, and for Detroit, who now has three in a row at home, mm. starting with that Monday night game against Chicago. I mean, the sky is the limit for this. Tommy, they lost 26 straight road games. They've now won five in a row on the road. They've tied these come back every week. They're doing something else, and we 